Good morning, brothers and sisters. Second attempt to make this broadcast. Had technical difficulties in the background noise. Forgive, that's the, I live on a busy street. I hope you're having a blessed Wednesday. I'd like to start with a prayer. Father God, we give you all praise, honor, and glory, Lord for the life, for the breath that we breathe. I have been extremely blessed, Father, with wonderful men of God that have come and become my family and have surrounded me with love. I want to thank you for my best friend Toby and his wife Patty, for Brother Joe, for Robbie, for Brother Ed, for Gary, They have all truly been a blessing. I pray for every one of my brothers and sisters as they venture off today to do your will and to do your work, that you would keep them safe, that you would have angels round about them, that everyone that they come in contact with will be touched by the Holy Spirit as they pass by. In the name of Yahushua, Jesus, amen. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in. This is Evangelist Kimmy Humphreys for Feed My Sheep Street Outreach Ministry Church Online 2018, a ministry of volunteers willing to reach the world for Jesus Christ. Let's start today, please, with a scripture. Luke 18, 9 through 18, the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Also, he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the tax collector, standing afar off, would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his chest, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified, rather than the other For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Brothers and sisters, I've been offline for quite a while. And for what it's worth, I'd like to bring something to your attention. We are all in the body of Christ. We all make mistakes. We want to be perfect. We strive to be perfect. We should work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. As I came on Facebook after a long absence yesterday, the only thing that I saw in my feed were brothers and sisters in Christ calling out every little thing that their other brothers and sisters in Christ had done just picking each other apart. I will tell you this, yes, there is such a thing as righteous judgment. There's also something called mercy that we have been shown or we would not know salvation. There is not one of us that are perfect. That's why the Lord came. And yes, in this ministry, my heart has been broken. 
But I tell you, when I hear something of a brother or a sister, I don't jump to conclusions. And I don't make harsh judgments on my own. There are brothers in this ministry, I will tell you, that were as close to me as my own flesh and blood. And I loved them dearly. But when something was brought to my attention that they were doing that was against the word of God and harming the body of Christ, I didn't just go and jump to conclusions. I looked into it. If I found something, I went to two others in the ministry that I trusted, and they did an investigation in hopes that these brothers had been falsely accused. And it took months, and I did not do it upon myself. I did it with the help of others in this ministry. That is how you show righteous judgment. It was found to be true. And that is what righteous judgment is. My heart was telling me. My heart was telling me. No, but the word of God was telling me that I had to speak with them. And I went to them in private. And I spoke with them privately. And when they would not listen, I took some others in the ministry to them. And when they refused to listen to them, then they were put out of the ministry. And I was left with a broken heart. And to this day, I love these brothers. And I wish that they would repent and come back because I miss them dearly. That's righteous judgment. What is not righteous judgment is going on Facebook, hearing a story, and condemning a man or woman of God without knowing the facts or even taking the time to research it. That is not righteous judgment. That is slander. And possibly bearing false witness. You go to that person. You ask them. You talk to them privately. You don't put it out on Facebook the minute you hear something. That is gossip and that is a sin. You know, new Christians have not matured in the faith they may make mistakes, and we are to guide them lovingly as parents because they're babes in Christ. Now, there are a lot of things being said about this gentleman, Greg Locke. I don't know what's going on, and until I do, I will keep my mouth shut. I'm not condemning anyone. If I haven't spoken to them or investigated Please, brothers and sisters, it's getting to the point to where brothers and sisters in Christ seem to be waiting to attack each other. Like animals waiting to devour prey. This is not godly. There is a way to do things biblically, and this is not one of them. Love each other. Help restore your brother with love. Never make a judgment on your own. Take other brothers and sisters with you. We are human. We are fallible. We may think we know, but it needs to be backed up with others. Because do you know when you start, excuse me, running your mouth without the facts, you can destroy a person's life. A person's life can be totally destroyed by the words of someone that doesn't know the truth about the situation. So we must be extremely careful. And all of these people out there doing this need to understand one thing. When the unsaved world looks at Christians, they see us all as one. When they see Christians attacking other Christians, they see no difference in the saved Christians than in the world. We are to be a light to light the way to Jesus Christ and to new life in Him. Thank you for listening to me. I love you all dearly. I know that there are two separate Gospels. One that's going around that is love, love, never any judgment, do what you want, you're saved. That one's false. There's another 
that is judge every single tiny little thing that your brothers and sisters do like you're self-righteous and holier than thou also is an era. There is a medium. We are to love. We are to speak with our brothers and sisters if they fall. We are to love them and try to help lift them up. But then there are those that are out there that are not truly in the faith that are deceiving our brothers and sisters. That's when we take others in the ministry. Elders to try to speak with them. Now if you have done all of these things and they do not listen, then they must be exposed to protect the body of Christ. There is order in everything that the Lord does and wants us to do. So please, don't be so quick to attack each other. Lovingly try to restore each other. Don't post things without proof. If you see me post something, it is because we have investigated, we have tried everything to get through to this person. And the only time that I will do that is if they are deceiving or harming the body of Christ. I love you all so very much. Thank you for listening to me. God bless you and God keep you. I hope you have a blessed Wednesday. Love one another. Please. As Christ has loved you. Show mercy. He showed mercy to us.